this alphabet has been lost for centuries. Can you translate that? It's definitely a mission statement for your friend who's referred to as Starfire. Her mission is to secure the Raven. You can't do Titans without Wonder Girl. You just can't. In the comics, the two mother-father figures of the Titans, so to speak, are Dick and Donna. Donna, Troy, and Dick have a history because they were both sidekicks. They both kind of grew up in the same life. But Dick's mentor was Batman, who isn't a great one. And Donna's is Diana. And Diana's probably the greatest mentor you could ever have. And yet these two characters connected because they were both sidekicks. They were both around when the Justice League was getting together. Dick and Donna would hang out. Wonder Woman was born to protect the innocent. And Batman was created to punish the guilty. They've known each other since they were kids. They have a really, really long-standing friendship that's almost the dynamic of a brother and a sister. She knows everything he's been through. She knows his weaknesses and his strengths. She knows the issues he carries from when he was a kid. That's a very strong relationship. She's pushed away her superhero sidekick past and forged a path on her own. The exact thing Dick wants to do, but doesn't know how to do it. I didn't quit being Wonder Girl. I just realized that I could do more good being Donna Troy. It was a great moment when we first see Dick show up at Donna's apartment in New York, and she opens the door and he says, with all the seriousness and weight of it, I quit. And Donna looks at him and smiles, and she's like, he's quit a bunch of times. Great to see you too. She's the one person that can kind of help guide him and give him some kind of sense of groundedness. And I think that's why their dynamic is so incredible, because she can bring him back down to earth, but she can also know when to push his buttons. and make fun of them like all sisters do. <laughs> Miss Troy. Thank you for agreeing to meet. We're showing a new Donna Troy, and we're showing her through a different lens, but we're honoring her original Wonder Girl history. I've never had the chance to really write Donna Troy in the comics much, so it was a thrill to be able to bring her to the show. You mind if I hang at your place a while? Stay as long as you need, as long as you still got game. <laughs>